In today's video we will break down how a record body cam effect was achieved and how to create something similar. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In my previous video I made breakdown of environment creation of the game Unrecord, which you can check by following the link in the description below, if you haven't seen it yet, and a lot of you asked how to make the bodycam effect movement, and today we are going to recreate this effect as close as my skills allow me. But first I would like to thank every one of you. I did not expect my breakdown video will get that much attention and that in one week I will get from 12 subscribers to 2000, that's very impressive, so thank you. Also thanks to people in comments who pointed out my flaws and helped me with the starting point of this camera breakdown. Many people mentioned that animation of the camera in the trailer also has been keyframed to better sell the effect and that makes sense as motion is too real and not how the player would have moved. Also when you can see that the camera being animated is here, as the camera starts moving really fast without any shake or acceleration. It feels like it's getting dragged to something or just the keyframes are set very short positions. Real player would probably move like this, but not like shown in the trailer. It's usual approach to make game trailer look more cinematic, and we have seen it before. Devs actually posted video of playing an editor that proved that when you play camera movement will be different and also helped me to understand few key elements. There is a bunch of videos right now on the YouTube claiming to recreate this bodycam effect, but they don't go past the fisheye lens distortion effect only. And in today's video we are going to dive a bit deeper and go into combine camera leg to first person blueprint, camera shake effects depending on player movement conditions, fisheye lens distortion and animated vignette in order to achieve something similar to on record. Now let's get started. Firstly, I add first person game mode to my project, drop the rifle in the scene and set up game mode in world settings to our first person shooter game. After that I made some changes to player blueprint, added the spring arm and set camera lag to the camera. The motion is much smoother, but still, the weapon is in line with the camera. I created second spring arm and connected first person mesh to arms spring arm, also added the lag for the weapon. Why? Well, because I found out that it actually helps to smooth the motion of the weapon too and make it less jerky. Now let's see how it looks. Yes, gun movement is much smoother right now. After that I changed FOV for 110 degrees as I know it will be also absorbed by the fisheye effect. And let's test it. Does this movement actually remind you something? After that I started working on camera shakes, I have created three separate camera shakes for different player states, idle, walk and run. As it was done I have created different states in player blueprint and triggered camera shakes based on character velocity, so idle camera shake is working only when the character doesn't move and walk and run blend between each other depending on the speed of the character. Now I need to execute our custom event and make game to check character speed on every tick. Now let's test it. Camera shakes are blending between each other and overall it looks fine. As we have set the camera shakes depending on the state of our character, let's continue with the fisheye effect. It's very easy to do in post-process material, but I didn't know how to. So I followed the tutorial from another YouTuber and I will leave the link for the video in description below. You can either copy material notes from the screen right now or if you want to know the logic behind it, watch the full video by the original author. Right now I'm adjusting fisheye parameters, I ended up with the following values, feel free to experiment and play around to find out what suits you the best. The hardest part was creating the vignette which will be lagging from the camera movement and also which will be shaking when the character moves. I created simple post-process volume vignette with some blue fringe on the edges. After that made material parameter collection so I can feed world camera rotation from first person blueprint to it and add these values in order to make vignette offset based on the camera position. In first person blueprint I created the logic which gets current camera position and subtracts difference from default value of camera rotator and sets the new value for vignette offset and interpolates that over time. And this is the result. Then in the same way I have set up the logics for vignette shakes. After that I have migrated all these blueprints and materials to my project with the level I have created in my previous video. 
Again, you can watch it by clicking over there or following the link on the description. Also, let me know in the comments if you would like to see any detailed tutorial for all of the techniques that I mentioned in this video. I have added post-process materials to my player camera because I don't want to edit level with distorted lens and started testing the scene. Before I show you the results, I just want to point out that there is plenty room for experiments. And I don't guarantee you that devs did exactly the same way as I did, as I am not a game developer but visualization artist and I've spent only one night creating this. In this video, I just want to make a proof of concept. Obviously, I didn't cover all the stuff that was done for making this camera movement, like blur during the shooting, or maybe jerk vignette jumping when you shoot or move different direction. I believe it was done with HUD, not with the post-process volume as I did. Also, as some of subscribers mentioned in comments that there might have been used some advanced post-processing materials like erode filter and digital noise to achieve bad quality camera look, or even maybe this type of VHS effect which you can find on Gumroad and buy it for 20 bucks. Developers did an absolutely fantastic job on animations, locomotion and blending, as I am doing only automotive animations which I would like to make procedurally. I don't have experience with first-person shooters and how to make character animations and transitions. This body cam movement is something more than just shake and delay, it's a combination of various techniques, state machine, animation and logics for player input. All of this is what makes our record game trailer so believable. And now let's see what I managed to achieve with one sleepless night. I need help. With the first person it looks fairly fine. I adjusted some parameters like near clip range and mouse sensitivity to move smoother. But also you can go even further and adapt animations from Lyra project for the first person animations and you will probably get more interesting results. I know the animation is not smooth and jerky, but as I mentioned before, I only work on automotive animations. If anyone who is watching this video right now is a game developer or the first person shooter developer, you're welcome in comments to share your thoughts, because I would like to know what I did wrong or what can be done differently or with lower performance cost. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Wait, 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 wait. Be honest and let me know in the comments if you noticed that on my thumbnail for this video, the picture, the screenshot is not from the Unrecord game, it's what I showed you today in the footage. Let me know.